More Skeleton Knight from Another World, everybody. Episode 3. This episode, we get to see not only more of Ark, but we get to see the elf lady from that first episode. And she's not too fond of humans. Considering what we've seen in the show so far, I don't blame her. Anyway, Ark ends up taking a job to take out some brigands, and he ends up finding a ton of loot, a ton of gold, in the back room, but also some cages I was thinking that belonged to prisoners. He comes out and is immediately attacked by this elf lady, and she thinks that he's working with the bandits. And it turns out that the bandits ha had kidnapped a bunch of elves, and she was trying to find them and bring them home. Thankfully, Pointa being there actually got her to realize this, it would not, uh, uh, that kind of ant creature would not bond with a bandit like that. So I was like, and like a human as well, and I was like, he's not human, he is undead. Though I don't know how everybody would think upon seeing this, because Pointa seems to be fine with it. Because it, I don't even know if it's a boy or girl at this point. It didn't care when it saw him without his helmet on, so. At least he's got one person who he knows is not going to freak out with him as, without his helmet on. And we find out who was responsible for the attack on the lady from episode 1 and the basilisks from episode 2. Turns out it's this lord guy and it they're working with another prince and they're trying to keep it on the down low because if another prince finds out they're going to be having a hard time and, da -da 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 -da. and apparently they're working with the ones that are kidnapping the elves. And thankfully the elf lady found them. And before Ark even has a chance to go in to help, she rushes in and easily takes out a bunch of them. And when she finds, we find out that she's a dark elf. What's the difference between a regular elf and a dark elf? How can you tell the difference? Is it the eye color? Or the hair color? Because that's the only thing I could think of. And the guy, idiot that he is, threatens the prisoners thinking that this would keep her in line. That would only work if there was one person there that they're threat that they're trying to keep in line. But Ark showed up and knocked him silly, and the rest of the guys went down thanks to her. And he heals up one of the elves that got hurt, and they're all love. They're all lo they all love him now. <laughs> all the kids love him now. And it turns out that the elves found the, hide the hideaway of the slave traders. So now they have to go and take care of that. Sadly, that's the next episode, and I just love this show already. Characters. Love always seeing Ark. He's awesome. Overpowered as all get out, but that's, I mean, that's the whole point. Is this character was overpowered when he made it. Or when he, he made it and worked hard at getting it overpowered. And now he's just. I wonder if there's a way they're going to be able to give him a regular. A regular body. Even slowly. For example like making it go from the, from the bottom up. Until by the end of the show. He now has a regular face. Because I mean that could be his backstory where he's trying to find a cure for his curse of being a skeleton. I mean, why else would a skeleton be walking around and helping people, you know? And Poitra's obviously so adorable. I would love a little plush of her. It, whatever it is. <laughs> it's so cute. I'd hug it. Anyway, uh, I think a girl's name was Ariana. Anyway, she is awesome. She don't take crap from anybody. She's strong to boot, so she wasn't br wasn't lying, which said she didn't need his help. Though technically, she kind of did in the end, because the guy holding the elves hostage like that, 
Yeah, the guy, I'm surprised he didn't kill him. With how hard he hit him. Anyway, yeah, I am curious to see how this is going to go. I hope you guys are just as excited as I am because as soon as the next episode drops, I am going to watch it.